Good morning, everyone. My name is Cindy Dan. Today, my topic is to distinguish the strength and the weaknesses of warehouses, dispute center, and cross docking facilities. Warehouses is a large building that is defined to store raw materials for a period of time. Here is the strength and weaknesses of warehouses. The first strength of warehouses is protection of goods. Warehouses provide a place for businessmen to store their goods when it's not on use. They use high technology to minimize the wastage and losses. The second strength is the ideal locations. Warehouses normally located in all places such as airport, railway stations, and also seaport to load and unload goods to be imported and export easily. The third strength is increasing in employment rate. Warehouses create a number of employment opportunity for both skilled and unskilled workers in the country. Here comes the weaknesses. The first weakness is control on own goods. Some companies may want to have a physical sign on their stock to see how much the stock they left. The second weakness is security of company information. When goods are stored in warehouses, it is not secured unless it is in a private warehouses. And the third weakness is consume time. When goods are stored in the public warehouses, the businessmen need to go through the third parties to get the, their goods before it is sent to their customer. Distribution center is a place to store goods for a short period of time. It normally works on a daily basis. Here, here is a strength of distribution center. The first strength is safe cost. When goods are stored in distribution center, businessmen were able to cut down the manpower and shipping costs as they do not need many manpower to move the goods. The second trend is control on company store. They can keep an eye on the stock in the distribution center as this is easier to get the stock when the customer wants it immediately. The third trend is the accessibility. This is more convenient when the goods are stored in distri distribution center as this provides easy access when the product is needed. Here comes the weaknesses of distribution center. The first weaknesses is the control on own product. When the goods are stored in distribution center, businessmen will not know whether the product has been distributed to their customer or not. The second weaknesses is the cost. The longer the period the goods is stored in the distribution center, the higher the amount that need to be paid by the businessman. And the third weakness is the staff training. Company need to give training to every employees in every distribution center. They need to be trained to take good care of the product and to give out the product to the right customer. Cross docking facilities is a place that receive dogs and shipping dogs. When goods enter, they are organized and sent out from the other side without being stored. Here is the strength of cross docking facilities. The first strength is a the cost. There will be a reduction in the labor cost as they do not need much manpower to move the products. The second strength is warehouse space. Cross docking facilities will minimize the space needed to store the goods as the goods do not need to be stored too long. The third strength is the control on product. By using cross docking facilities, there is no need to take turns to look after the product. Here comes the weaknesses of cross docking facilities. The first weaknesses is communication problem. Communication problem such as moving the product to the right place or on time occurs between supervisor and the workers. The second weaknesses is the employee job increase. The manager need to make sure that their employees organize product in the right place and set it out on time. And the third weakness of cross docking facilities is there will be a high number of transportation needed to make the work go smoothly. Lastly, thank you for watching.